let's look at how we can build a very simple session-based shopping cart. So I have our list of products on one page, three different balls, and when you click on the link Add to Cart, you're going to be taken to an Add to Cart page where the particular product ID is passed to that page. We're going to display some success message, and then we're going to have a link to the actual shopping cart page that displays all the items in our, in our shopping cart. So let's go ahead and fill this Add to Cart page in. The first thing that I want to do is start the session. Next, I want to have a session variable called cart that is an array. So we need a way of storing off multiple items into some data structure. And this data structure needs to be an array since we're going to be storing off multiple product IDs. Now, whenever the user visits the page, I don't want to automatically set this session cart variable to an empty array. Otherwise, we'd be overwriting previous data that's stored in the session. What I want to do is check to see if the session cart is empty. If it is, then we're going to set it to an array. Otherwise, we're going to ignore this step. We can say if empty. We set up the initialization of our session cart variable. Now, whenever we visit this page, we want to take that product ID that's passed through the URL and store it in the session. And we can do that by saying array push. And we're going to tell it the session or the array. In this case, it's the cart. And what's the variable that we want to add? Well, in this case, we're going to use get because we're passing it through the URL. And that's it. So now when we go to the shopping cart page, let's go ahead and just dump everything out into the session. And we need to make sure we say session start. And I've added multiple products from previous tests. Let's go ahead and add the third option, baseball. OK, and we see it. Once we have all of the product IDs stored in our shopping cart session variable, we need a way of pulling the actual data from the database. We might have a table called products, and we're going to take all of these product IDs stored in the session and go fetch all of the information for those product IDs so we can actually display all the products on the page in our shopping cart. Now right now, everything in our shopping cart is just a bunch of product IDs. So we need a way of saying, select all products from our database that match these IDs. So let's start off this SQL statement. Select all from maybe a table called products where the ID in a list of values. And we could say 3, 4, 5. And all of these IDs would have to match. So let's go ahead and take what's in our session and generate this part of the SQL statement. So there's a handy function in PHP called implode, where you can basically take an array and concatenate all the elements in the array together using some delimiter. In this case, we want to use a comma. So I can call this variable where in. I'm going to implode. They call this the glue, but I want to implode everything with a comma. And what do we want to implode? Everything in our cart variable. So now we can just add this to our SQL statement, where in, we'll go ahead and echo this out onto the page. And this is our valid SQL statement. So from this point on, you can take this, execute it with MySQL, and get all the products and list it onto the page. 